Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video segment, we're going to replace the power steering pump in a 2017 Ford Transit. If you're not a subscriber, just hit that button. You know what to do. Become a subscriber right away. So let's begin. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to chop one of the wheels because safety is always first. Next, we're going to remove the ignition key. You don't want anyone to try to start it up. And it may be yourself. Going to lift our hood. And we're gonna go over here at the tensioner and we're gonna put a prior bar right between the two pulleys on the tensioner. And we're gonna release the belt. And we got that release. We just slide the belt right off the, uh, the pulley. That's all we need. And we are under the vehicle and here is our power steering pump. And you can see here it's leaking in several places. And believe it or not, it, whoop, you just saw that. A drip just came from it. So uh, the bolts are definitely tightened, but it's leaking. And it's not leaking from the hose. So we need a 13 millimeter or you can use a half inch wrench. Now it's time for me to put on some gloves and safety glasses. <laughs> uh, we need a 3-8 ratchet, but these two holes, we wanna go ahead and get them out of the way. And you wanna have a drain bucket nearby because you're definitely gonna lose fluid, especially out of this hose from the uh, power steering reservoir. We are using a T40. We put this boat on pretty tight, so just want to break it loose. There we go. Just break it loose. Had to put a little breaker bar on it. We just want to take that off. And that's the boat there. Next, we're going to release our clamp here. release that clamp. Now here's where it gets a little messy. When you remove this clamp, and that's the hole that go to the reservoir, we're gonna push it back, and you definitely wanna make sure that you have a drain pan underneath. There she go. <laughs> All right, we just gonna let that drain for a little bit, and then we're going to remove this hose here. I must say, they on there pretty tight. Let's go double wrench. There we go. Breaking loose. So what we have holding on this bracket is a nut. 13 millimeter. We will let the second hose drain. I'm gonna use a socket, a 13 millimeter, to remove the, the next bolt. Two down and one to go. A nut for the top. And that has a stud also, so you have a stud on the top and a stud on the bottom. Now we're just going to slide our pump on out. There we go. And we just want to let it drain. And remember, you need to return that part back. That's a core and you want to have a core charge on it. Make sure you get your money back. Well, here's our new pump, and there is a core charge for this, so make sure you return your core. That's the part number. And I got it straight from the, the Ford dealer. Price range.
and it comes with the pulley on it, guys and gals. <laughs> so you do not have to worry about removing the old pulley and installing on the new pump. It all comes together. Going to install our new pump. Slide on over. We want to install our boat. Again, we need a 13 millimeter. Then this holes here. You want to make sure the old rain is in good condition. There we go. Let's not forget we have a nut that goes here. And we have a boat that goes up here that we need a T40 to tighten it back. We're gonna torque down the nut and the bolt. And now we just need to take care of our supply holes. Just gonna move off this boot that was on a new one. Move that to the side. There we go. And just reinstall our hose. Now make sure before you try to install your belt, make sure you have it on the grooves properly, on all pulleys. Everything looks good under here. If you have any problems, just look at this diagram. Well, we have our belt back on. And just make sure that it's in all the grooves on all pulleys properly. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna to top off the power steering reservoir. If you see here, you actually have your level line, your mats, and your minimal. We're not gonna worry about that right now. What we're gonna to try to do is make sure we have all the air out of our power steering system. That is very important. You wanna lift your front end. We're going to put back our ignition key back in the switch. Do not start the vehicle. Put the vehicle in neutral. And turn your steering wheel all the way to the left and to the right. Again, you will not start your vehicle or run your vehicle in this process. We want to make sure we Get out all the air as possible. We do not want to damage a brand new power steering pump. And you do this several times. Not bad at all. It did drop some and look like we right at the full mark. I'm gonna leave the cap off and whatever air that is in the system give it a chance to rise up through the reservoir and evaporate or boil out. And you may see your power steering fluid foam up. Don't be alarmed. It's just air escaping the system. Start a vehicle. While the vehicle's running, we're gonna turn all the way to the left and to the right. Oh, that feels great. That looks great. I don't see any air activity whatsoever. Guys, I do see a leak right there at that oil range. So what I'm going to do is take this line back down and just replace that oil range. So that's something you want to look out for. Well, this is the oil range that actually came off. Now, I called a Ford dealer and they said that they do not have this oil ring. Can you believe that? So I went into my oil ring kit and my metric kit 
See what we can come up with. I found another O-ring and am I happy with it? Well, we'll see. It was really hard to match it up. That did it. That O-ring fits the problem. So keep that in mind. Go ahead and replace that O-ring. Get your O-ring kit and just match it up and replace it. You'll be better off. Well, that's all you have to do to replace your power steering pump in your 2017 Ford Transit. I hope this video was helpful. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to hit the notification bell to let you know when I have a video to come out. Take care. God bless.